England, things aren't looking too rosy for Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Donations to the Archwell Foundation, their charitable arm, fell by almost £10 million back in 2022. Well, back with us to discuss some of these stories is the associate comment editor at The Telegraph, Mutez Ahmed, and the writer and broadcaster, Candice Holdsworth. And we must add, with Harry and Meghan, they've also been voted... Or deemed. Oh, deemed, not voted, nominated... I don't know what you call it. Described <laughs> as the biggest losers in Hollywood, and that's by the showbiz bible, The Hollywood Reporter. Things aren't looking too great for the, uh, the couple, are they, Candice? No, I... You know, it's such a lost opportunity. They could have gone over there, created something completely new, pursued all these wonderful opportunities that America has to offer, but they pursued a kind of bitter agenda. And maybe there were financial reasons for it, maybe there were personal reasons for it, but I think it's damaged them. Maybe if they said one thing, maybe if they'd done one interview, that would have been OK. But I think it's just been a constant, steady stream, and a lot of people just don't like the drama. Mm. And Mutaz, do you think that... Traditionally, there's been this sense that Americans think about this in a different way to Brits. But now that Hollywood Reporter is sort of speaking along the same lines as some of the tabloid press over here in the UK, is that gap shrinking? Yeah, I don't think it was true to begin with. You know, um, William and Kate are extremely popular in America. I think the Queen was popular in America for the same reason mm -hmm. that she was popular here. I don't think, by the way, that Harry and Meghan could have done anything productive because they have no talent. Uh, and so this was the only path they could have gone down. But this is what happens when you change, chase fashionable causes, right? They die out. Are you um, sure they have no talent? I mean, Meghan Markle was a media... was, 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 a, was a successful actress. She was, of course, famously in Suits, and she married very well. Did you watch Suits? <laughs> I've um, never seen it. <laughs> I did, to be fair. I did watch Suits, and I did enjoy it. I'm not sure if it was because of Meghan Markle. Uh, acting, well, but... it, it went on for too long and it was very boring, but that's my, <laughs> that's my opinion. Um, no, but it, look, Americans aren't stupid. They're seeing through it and they see that this couple who are millionaires, they live in a mansion, you know, one of them is a royal, inherited millions. They don't represent the dispossessed and they don't represent the dis disadvantaged and there's no point pretending that they do. They do try to, though. I mean, Meghan Markle's podcast, it was all about... Uh... You know, this is the podcast she got paid who, twenty million dollars. Yeah, yes. women who have struggled with X, well. Y, and Z throughout their lives, and it always came back to Meghan. And the problem is, is that once you're a multi-millionaire married to a prince, it no longer um, appears sincere anymore. But anyway, this uh, this Hollywood reporter that have deemed them the biggest losers of the year uh, mocked them for their whiny Netflix documentary, their whiny biography, and their inert podcast.